We are going to take a look at four ways to show multiplication. We have equal grouping, arrays, repeated addition, and skip counting. We're going to start with equal grouping. When you do equal grouping, you think I have this many groups of such a number. For example, I have 4 times 6 is equal to what number? I'll think 4 groups of 6. So I have four groups and there's six objects inside. I start by drawing out my four groups. Then I'm going to draw six in each group. When I'm done drawing all of the sixes in the groups, I can count up the number of objects that I have in total. So then 4 times 6 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. Now we're going to look at arrays. When we think about arrays, we are thinking about arranging uh, things into rows and columns. For 4 times 6, we're going to think that we have 4 rows and 6 columns. First, I'm going to draw 4 rows. You can see 1 row, 2 rows, 3 rows, 4 rows, and then 6 columns. 3, 4, 5, 6 columns. And you can fill up the object so that you make a nice array. Now if you count everything all together, you are going to get 24. So 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Now we're going to look at repeated addition. For repeated addition, you will be adding over and over again. For 4 times 6, you are adding 4 6 times. I'm going to draw a number line. My number line starts with 0. I'm going to add 4 one time. Second time, I'm going to add 4 again. I add 4 fourth time. A fifth time. And then a sixth time. Then I stop because I'm only adding 4 six times. When I add that all up, I get 24. So 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Now let's look at skip counting. It's not a great strategy because you kind of have to already know what to do. So for skip counting, you are skip counting by 4 each time. You count 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So after counting four or six times, I get to the number 24. Then I know that four times six is equal to 24.